y'all know I tend to do smoky eyes a lot. So I grab for more neutrally sort of blushes a little bit more. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And I would say if there is a theme this week, it would be neutrals and browns. Like quite a few neutrals, but several brown things this week. And I don't have a ton to talk about, but the things that I was loving, I was really loving. And I do have a fooey. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Leslie. Welcome, hope that you'll subscribe, stick around for a while, and let's get to the favorites. On my eyes this week, I've been playing around with my Coastal Sense Revealed Smoky Palette quite a bit. I just love this thing. I think it is such nice quality, such a good price. It's right at around $20, and it is just a beautiful, smoky palette. Like, if you have thought about the Naked Smoky Palette, I would say don't think about that anymore. Just get this instead, because I like this definitely more than that one. I just feel like these shadows blend better and they wear just as well. I just like these better. Like I find that one hard to blend. The more that I use that palette, I just feel like I always, I always have issues with my eye looks with that Naked Smoky palette. But with this one, it just seems to work better. The only thing I would change about it, I wish that there was one more blending type shade. Like there's this one. And then this one's kind of more of like a satin sort of a finish. I just wish that there was one more matte blending shade. So that's one thing I would change about it, but I just love it. I think it's an awesome palette. I love the packaging. I love the price. It's great. And then y'all, you need to run, not walk to your Target and get this palette. This is a new one from NYC New York Color, and I think it's Lovatics. I don't think it's Lovatics. I think it's Lovatics by Demi, because it's Demi Lovato. It's, I guess, her collaboration with NYC, and this is, it just says um, 20 Natural, so I guess that's, that's the only one that I saw at my Target. This was $6.99. This is what I have on my eyes right now. It is so nice. So nice. I like this better than... Um, the larger palettes from Wet n Wild, the ones that used to be Fergie and now they just say Wet n Wild, I like this one better. And I think those are $6.99 too. So this is just awesome. Like the mattes blend so well. They have a really nice texture to them. They're like the tiniest bit powdery, but really not that bad at all. Like really not all that powdery at all, really just the tiniest little bit. I mean, it is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with this palette. I um, have a picture up on my Instagram if you wanna see all of these colors swatched, but in a nutshell, yes. This palette is awesome. I love it. I've been wearing it this week. I would highly recommend it. It's just a beautiful neutral palette. And I kinda went with the more like smoky colors today, but. I've worn the more natural looking ones too, and I love them all. $6.99, so awesome, yes, yes, yes. For blush this week, I've been really enjoying one of my ombre blushes from Wet n Wild. I do have a picture on my Instagram of all three of these swatches, so if you wanna see that, you can check out that picture. But I did get this from Target also, and I believe that these are Target exclusives. And what I did is I like ordered it online, but then did the in-store pickup option, so. That's what I did, but this one is in the Princess Daiquiris. It's what I've got on my cheeks right now. It's just a really sweet, like, I don't know, peachy pink sort of a color. It's really, really pretty. This one's kind of the most, like, I would say wearable everyday color of the three of them because the other, one of the other ones is like an orangey color and then there's like a purpley sort of a shade. Um, but this one's my favorite because it's just, you know, the one that I'm probably gonna reach for the most that's a little bit more wearable and will go with more eye looks and y'all know I tend to do smoky eyes a lot. So I grab for more neutrally sort of blushes a little bit more. So this one, you can see it. It's definitely, it's a pink, but it's still a wearable, sweet, go with a lot of things sort of a pink. It has that really nice sheen to it. Just gives a nice kind of youthful glow to your cheeks. I really love it. And I'm impressed with these. I like the texture of them. I don't think that they're super powdery or anything. Um, they've been sticking around on my cheeks. I haven't noticed them really fading a lot. They're like $4.99, so they're affordable. I like them. Um, 
I don't think I have any complaints about them. I'm trying to think of my experience with them, but I really can't think of anything that I don't like about them. And I would say that they're less powdery than the Color Icon blushes from them, which I also really love. So I think these are awesome. Really, really pretty. The purpley one, I haven't tried to wear that one, but I'm guessing that one could be a little bit challenging. So I will keep you posted on that of how I kind of make that one work, but I love, love this color. And then for lips, I'm kind of wearing a combination of several of the things I'm gonna mention. So I kind of just ended up with this like mixture of things on my lips, but during the week I wore them separately and really liked them, but I actually like them together too. So one of the things is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate. This is in Chocolate Milkshake. I love these. A lot of it I know is the scent because it smells like, you know, chocolate cake batter and it's just yummy smelling, but I do just really like the Melteds. And this one is a really pretty color. It is it's a warm brown, but it has a little bit of like peachy tones in it and a little bit of like the terracotta tones. So it's just a really pretty neutral. I did mix it with kind of like a muted nude color and also a brown. So it, I have a little bit of this on, but it, it looks different on my lips right now. But it really is more of that like peachy nude color. It's beautiful. I love it. I really like the way that these wear. I don't know. I just think that they're like a fun lip product. You know what I mean? I always wear them with a lip liner pretty much. That I think every time I wear them with a lip liner because they do tend to move around a little bit and I do have to check my teeth, but I still just really love them. I think they're a fun lip product. I think they have some pretty colors and I love the way they smell. And then I am so, so impressed with these new Sephora liners. These are the Rouge Gel Lip Liner and I have three different colors and I love them all. I'm wearing the brown and the nude today with the melted chocolate. So this one is 01 The Nudist. This kind of pinky color is 03 Rose Wine, which is really kind of more of like a mauve sort of a color. And then this one is 17 Molasses. Let me swatch these for you really quick. So you can see here, they are really pigmented, but they're also really creamy and comfortable. So they're almost like a lipstick in a lip liner form. Like that's what they feel like to me. Like I've worn them by themselves as just lip colors throughout the week and I love them. Oh my gosh. They're not drying. They don't drag. They just have a really nice creamy consistency to them like a comfortable lipstick, but in a liner form. So I love these and would love them in probably every single color, but I do just really like these particular shades because Rose Wine is a really nice kind of like warm, um, mauve -y sort of shade. This is a beautiful kind of cool tone nude. And then I'm loving brown right now. So that one's just like a really gorgeous chocolatey brown. Just amazing. So love these, highly recommend them. And then for my Fooey this week, I was so sad about this because I got this in gratis from Sephora and I was so excited and thankful to get it because I've wanted to try one of these for a long time because these got a lot of buzz on YouTube when they first came out. These are the Dior, Dior Addict Fluid Stick and this is in the color 269. I don't like this. Like I tried to wear this this week I like the color. It's kind of like a pretty, I don't know, corally, peachy, pink sort of a color. So it would be really pretty for the spring, but I just don't like the formula of this. Like when I put it on my lips, it kind of was real sticky and just a strange sort of a texture. And it kind of wore weirdly on my lips and I don't know. I just didn't think it was very comfortable. I didn't think it wore very well. I know that these are pricey, so I don't know. Like, maybe if I got this from the drugstore, I would kind of be a little bit more like, eh, it's okay about it. But I mean, since it's a high priced item, I just don't think that this is, I wouldn't recommend this to people. I don't know. Maybe I just got like a flute color or something. So you'll have to let me know your experience with these and if you like them and if so, like how do you kind of use them? But for me, I just was 
a little bit sad and disappointed with it. It just really didn't seem to work for me. All right guys, so that wraps up my Friday favorites and foodies for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.